So today we are going to learn about the uh, how we can install the SQL Server on Mac. So we have seen uh, we have been always using the SQL Server on Windows system. So today we are going to know how we can install that SQL Server on Linux and Mac machines. So to start with, first we need to install a couple of things. Uh, we need to install the Visual Studio code. So we'll use that Visual Studio code to connect to SQL Server. So in my case, I have already installed the Visual Studio code. You, if you want to install the Visual Studio code, you can uh, Google it by Visual Studio code and you can download it. In this case, like you can download for Mac OS, Windows or Linux. And once that is done, we need to install the Docker as well. Uh, in my case, I already have downloaded Docker. So here you can see I have the Docker. So it is running. So you need to install the Docker as well because we are going to use the Docker image to run the SQL Server. So once you have the Docker and Visual Studio, you can go to the terminal on Mac. Like in this case, I am on my terminal. So you can search for, uh, you can run this particular command, uh, docker pull mcr.microsoft.com slash azure SQL Edge. So I am going to uh, pull this Azure SQL Edge image. You can go ahead on docker.com and check the command to pull this image. Like in this case, right? You can see Azure SQL Edge. Okay, you can just put and search Azure SQL Image. It is officially uh, this image by Microsoft.com. Make sure you install the official image. So you will get the command to pull the image. Here you can just copy it and you can run in, uh, on your terminal. So in this case, I have already pulled the image. So if I run it again. Right, it will not pull, it will show it's like, it's already up to date, right. So, and once that is done, uh, I'll run this command. So I'll explain like docker run, docker run is used to uh, run the uh, image inside a container. So, and these are the uh, different uh, parameters which we are passing inside this so uh, about these parameters you can uh, read on the microsoft.com uh, I'll attach the link for that particular in this case like you can see except EULA variable confirm your acceptance password port on which port SQL Server will run and then name of the uh, container and host and D means detach or demon mode uh, in that container run in the background. And this will be your image name. Okay. So in my case, I'm using the different image, not this one. And I want to mention one more thing. I'm not using this image for the SQL Server because this image uh, is on different architecture. And currently I have uh, the Mac M1. So this image is not ported on Mac M1. So if you also have the Mac M1, this image will not work. But if you have uh, Mac, uh, uh, the older Mac, not the M1s, uh, so this should work. And also, uh, if you are on Linux system, this will also work on the Linux system as well. So in my case, uh, since I have the M1, so I decided to go for Azure SQL Edge because that has been ported on uh, ARM64 architecture. So once uh, uh, you have copied the command, like, and once you run it, hit enter, you can see the container name right so the container has been started so you can check by docker ps so if you run the docker ps you will get to see a lot of 
uh, continuous which are running and here let me run this again okay so the container is not running let me show you the error uh, so if you see uh, see this is uh, in the if, if you have uh, installed the GUI uh, of the uh, docker application so you can see you can just open that particular image uh, this is the container that we have provided issue SQL edge so if you click on here you can see the status it is exited right so if you click on here you'll see the error error locks so in this if you track the error you will get to know what is the error so in this case you can see uh, error is this right unable to set system administrator password password validation failed because password does not meet the SQL Server password policy right so in this case the command that we had given right so here can you see the password so in this case we had given the password test one two three so we need to use the special character as well in the password then it will run right so if i run if i include the special character as well and if i run it again it will give me the error because the container name issue sql edge is already in use so first what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, stop the container once container stop we need to remove it okay okay so how you can do using the GUI since it has already been deleted from here so I can show you the other example like in this case my container was SQL test 1 right so if I click on this delete it will be removed right something like that you can remove so now uh, this has been removed so I can run the above command again okay now if I see uh, and check the docker status so docker ps will show the currently running uh, docker containers so if i see so if you see the first created 10 seconds up for 10 seconds right so and also you can see the image azure sql edge that means our container is up and running right so now our container is up and running what we can do we can go to the sql server uh, I mean Visual Studio and from the Visual Studio we can uh, just uh, connect to the SQL Server so in this case also uh, you also need to have the SQL Server plugin uh, on your Visual Studio so you can uh, download the SQL Server plugin on your Visual Studio so in my case I have already downloaded the SQL Server plugin so you can click on that okay so I had already created a connection but I'll try to do it one more time so in this case all uh, the content is running on local host and the port will be 1433 right you will just hit enter and then escape the database name and click on the SQL login pass the essay so we're passing the essay because we had given the ms sql essay password right so you need to pass the username as essay and then pass the password as test at the rate one two three right once that is done hit enter say password and see can you see the message profile created and connected so if you can see uh, the local host databases right so we are in the database sql server and we can see uh, all the system databases are there 
right so if you can query you can query something like that like select one or whatever you can right right so see Run this server name as well. Okay. So that's how uh, we can use the that's how we can use uh, the Docker and we can run the SQL Server easily. So if you want the uh, document or uh, the all the commands and step by step, I have a page where I have already uh, explained all these things. Uh, so how to download, how to go over and run these commands. So here is a page, I'll attach the page as well. So you can go ahead and check how to run it. So that's it. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.